Hello Leo, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star Star Star, and welcome to your reading. So this is your reading for the next three months, and this is a love exclusive reading. In this reading, we'll see what is your overall energy, what you need to know regarding your love life for the next three months, what are the challenges, and what are the uh, what are the challenges, and what are the opportunities that are coming towards you in your love life. So let's get started now. Let's get started. There is an extended reading for this one. Link for the same is in description box and comment section. In the extended, we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you and action they will take towards you and likely conclusion between you and this person. Also, I would appreciate if you would hit like, share and subscribe and comment on below. See, that acts as a motivation and inspiration for us to continue doing the readings and, you know, uh, doing more for you guys. Okay, so we also need, we tarot card readers, every, every content creator needs appreciation and motivation to continue the work that they are doing, right? So all I'm asking you not only for me but also for all the tarot card readers that please like share and subscribe their videos and comment down in our videos okay so all right so let's start now leo so what is your energy nine of wands for the next three months what do you need to know regarding your love life we have eight of swords four of wands Knight of Cups. Hmm. Interesting. And challenge the moon. Okay. And opportunities. Ten of Pentacles. Interesting. If I have to talk about the zodiac signs, I see Cancer standing out. I see uh, Aquarius, Libra. I see Pisces, I see Leo, another Leo, Sagittarius. If the sign pops up, all the better. Let's not remain fixed on the signs. Let's see what is your overall energy for the next three months, Leo. We have nine of wands. So nine of wands is telling me, Leo, that... Uh, You are in no mood to take no as an answer from anyone, okay? I also feel like if you're going to set your mind and sight onto something or someone, you will make sure that that situation is a part of your life or that person is a part of your life, okay? Despite the odds, okay? It is also quite possible that whatever your thoughts are, whatever your decisions are, whatever your ideas are, you might meet with some opposition re regarding your thoughts and you regarding your ideas but somehow i also feel like whoever is trying to give you this probably very likely an unsolicited opinion you are not going to pay heed to whatever their opposition is to whatever their unsolicited opinion is unsolicited is unasked i mean you're not going to anyone you're not asking anybody's opinion without asking anybody's opinion some someone is coming forward and trying to advise you something so that is an unsolicited opinion uh so i do feel like you're not going to take any of the opposition that is coming towards you seriously Okay, and especially when you have decided onto something, you will definitely not take that unsolicited advice. And uh, again, Nine of Wands is telling me that it is quite possible that you're going to surprise some people with your decisions, with your actions. Okay, so w probably whatever actions and decisions that you're going to take in the next three months, they might be slightly unusual, might be unexpected from you. Uh, but at the end of the day, you're doing what you feel right, okay? So even if you are, you might come across as slightly unconventional in the eyes of others, that should not bother you, 
okay and that is not going to bother you anyway okay because you are doing things what you think is right for you and uh, so this is good so what i feel over here is you are connected with your higher self your root chakra is very strong okay when you have a fucking good root chakra when you have your root chakra balanced one okay when you have a balanced root chakra it gives you that tremendous amount of confidence okay you 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 start believing in yourself you start believing in your actions and your thoughts and you don't fear anyone you have that courage within you that strength within you to take the actions despite if at all there is any kind of opposition that is coming your way okay so i do see that in the next three months your root chakra is is active and balanced okay and you will probably showcase some extraordinary courage and strength and maybe you're going to shock and surprise some people around you okay let's see what you need to know regarding your love life we have eight of swords we have uh, four of wands and we have knight of cups so eight of swords and knight of cups is telling me that you probably you're going to have an option okay you might have an option between the past and the new one okay and that's why there is a bit of a confusion like that's why you might feel slightly stuck it is quite possible leo that you will encounter two people in next three months especially from the perspective of your love life okay the knight of cups is telling me that someone from the past is trying to come back in your life and they are coming towards you with an apology okay they are coming towards you with an apology and they are like okay i know i was wrong i know i did wrong to you and i i'm i'm it was a huge mistake on my part but at the same time i am not able to forget you i have put so much of effort to forget to move on be with someone else and try to move on in my life but somewhere i felt like i was being pulled back to you okay somewhere i felt that despite putting in the efforts it i was like getting back to square one okay that made me realize that there is some unfinished business between you and me so this person is coming towards you with such kind of a dialogue with such kind of a conversation so this person will also sound pretty confident whoever this past person is whoever this ex of yours is they will come towards you with a lot of confidence and okay you their conversation with you might that conversation might force you to think about evaluate your decision related to your related to your ex and your decision related to your your ex was like okay i don't want ex in my life i don't want to do anything with with my ex and i'm i want a brand new person okay and then you will be like after this conversation you will be like okay do i really want to move on do i really don't want my ex okay you will you will try to do some self introspection at the same time we have four of wands four of wands is also a very solid and a very powerful energy over here okay this is the energy of a brand new person leo now this energy is telling me see i mean if you can see the wands they are properly grounded over here okay they 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 are not moving they are indicating stability in the relationship and then there is a big house behind these two behind behind this couple okay the house is also a very strong indicator of stability and then the background color is that of yellow yellow represents prosperity and happiness so the energy of the brand new person is more stronger and it it has the capacity to give you uh the stability that you want in your love life it has the capacity capacity to give you uh to capacity to make you experience joy and prosperity in your life make you experience happiness okay just that it won't happen from day one itself from day one itself you won't experience uh, like the the total happiness that you are meant to experience in this connection from day one itself you won't be like okay i am experiencing the stability in my love life see everything is a gradual process 
okay so it is going to happen probably leo that you're going to meet this brand new person and immediately in next couple of days your this ex is trying to come back okay so you are going to you're going to meet this ex when you are you are just starting to get to know this new person in your life and then this ex is bombarding back in your life with their with that solid conversation and uh which will sort of force you to rethink your entire stand when it comes to your ex okay uh that's why eight of swords that's why i see that there is a bit of a confusion but see at the end of the day the the four of wands energy is coming across as very powerful okay somewhere deep down your soul will be telling you like no not the past person the past person doesn't have the capacity to give you the joy and happiness and the stability love care and affection that you want in your life that whatever you want it will be given to you by this brand new person you have to be patient with this new person you have to spend some more time give this person more time to know this person to understand this person to understand yourself in this situation with the new person okay so i feel like even though there is an indication of you feeling confused between two people at the end of the day the powerful energy of this brand new person powerful energy that is represented through four of wands that will win over and anyways even though you might feel slightly confused with the comeback of the uh, comeback of an ex i mean you might dedicate one day two day two days or three days or probably at the most a week thinking about your ex not beyond that you will get that instant clarity you will get that required clarity regarding what is it that you want in the next three months okay so i don't see even if your ex is coming back with with a very convincing speech they won't succeed in winning you back the challenges the moon uh the challenge i see over here leo is that understanding yourself okay there is there is an internal conflict i see okay understanding or gaining the clarity okay something is trying to come to the come to the surface i think so you have some unhealed emotions which probably are trying to come back which probably are trying to come to the surface because of the return of your ex okay so your judgments might become slightly clouded okay so uh, you will see give yourself some time never and ever take any kind of decision especially when you are in a confused state of mind allow things to settle down don't arrive at any kind of a conclusion whenever we are feeling con- uh, whenever we are feeling confused never and ever do that not only in your love life but in any other area of your love life whenever we are feeling confused stop yourself then and there don't take any kind of decision okay opportunity that is coming towards you opportunity to find the love of your life opportunity to be in a very loving caring and affectionate partnership opportunity to be with the one opportunity to have a family with this person opportunity to grow old with this person opportunity to experience loyalty which probably you have not experienced in any of your past relationships so wonderful opportunity is coming towards you okay i hope this resonates and by the way marriage is indicated very strongly with uh four of wands and with 10 of pentacles leo okay this is a very strong indicator both the cards are a very strong indicator for some of you yes twin flame is entering in your life okay All right I hope this resonates and hit like share and subscribe comment down below link for the extended oh my god are you kidding me bottom of the deck we have hierophant again an indication of marriage leo again marriage is on the cards leo marriage is on the cards okay take care have a great time and bye bye leo link for the extended is in description box and comment section bye